hey guys so welcome back in this uh, video we'll be trying to solve um, boy or girl uh, which is a question in code forces all right so i will just summarize this according to this they will give us a string okay and we are supposed to find the number of distinct alphabets in the string now if the number of distinct alphabets is odd it means that the person is a male otherwise if it's even it means that the person is a female now if it's a female you're supposed to output this particular string and if it's a male you're supposed to output this particular string all right simple enough now uh, there are more than one way to solve this question the first way involves sorting uh, in which the runtime complexity will be o of n log n now the second way is runtime complexity will just be o of n but we'll be using a hash set so its space complexity the worst case will be o of n all right okay now we'll uh, see how to do this the first way okay so now let's take this string for example now we'll sort the string first now why we are sorting the string is that any repeating alphabets will come right next to each other okay so now when we sort the string we'll get something like this uh, m m r w z okay so as as you can see in this m is like repeated right so now since it's repeating both of them comes right next to each other and we will check that using a for loop okay we will have we will also have a variable called c which will count the number of distinct alphabets okay like which is what we need um, like at the end so now in the for loop i'll say the for loop will start from the zeroth index okay it'll start from here and it will check if the next element is same as it or not basically to ensure that it is distinct okay now it'll start at b and it'll check if j is same as b it is not same right so now c will go up by one now it will now the for loop will go to j and it will check if if m is same as j it is not then the for loop will again go up by one now it will come up to the first m when it comes up to the first m even the next element is a m right so it knows that m is getting repeated so now it won't add one to c okay like it'll just skip it and it will go forward now we'll come across the second m when we come across the second m we'll do the same steps and r is not same as m right then the value of c will again go up now we'll go on to r w the same way okay so the value of c will go up to i mean uh, from uh, 4 to 5 okay now the for loop will stop at the second last element okay because it is because um, the for loop is designed to check the element in front of it as well okay now if the for loop will go up till z like there is no element in front of z and we'll get an error so the for loop will just go to the second last element and it'll just stop there so now because of this outside the for loop we should increment the value of c by one why because the last element is also a distinct alphabet right which we have to add but the for loop wasn't able to add it so outside the for loop we are supposed to add one to c so now the final value of c will be six so now according to the question six is an even number and therefore the person is a female and we are supposed to output a uh, chat with her right okay now let's see the code for all this okay so now let's just code the solution out accept a string s and make a counter called c which will um, help us to find the distinct elements now we have to sort the string right after you sort the string we can use the for loop as i said it's going only up to the second last element so s dot length minus one will be used here okay now we are also supposed to check that the um, current element is not same as the next element so s of i is not equal to s of i plus one okay if it is so we can increase the value of c now as i said the last element will also be distinct and since the for loop will not cover that 
we should increase the value of c outside the for loop. From here, it's just basic. If it's divisible by 2, it means that it's a female. And we are supposed to output, let's see, uh, chat with her. Otherwise, we can output the other thing that is ignore him because uh, it will be a male, right? Now, let's save it and it's compiled. Let's copy the input. Now, for this, our output is supposed to be chat with her. Let's see. And there you go. It's correct. Now, I'll take one other input. This is supposed to be ignore him. And there you go, it's ignore him. So now this is actually incorrect. So I'll just uh, I'll just copy this code and uh, submit it. Let's see, submit and okay. Let's just submit and see. Let's reload this. It's running. And there you go, it's accepted, boy or girl, it's accepted. Okay, so that's how you solve it the first way. Now let's move on to how to solve it using a hash set. Okay, so now let's see how to solve this using a hash set. Now the main idea here is that a hash set cannot store duplicate elements, right? So now even if we attempt to store a duplicate element in the hash set, like it just won't get stored. And all we have to do similar to the sorting method is to just count the number of distinct elements in the hash set. Okay, so now suppose you have a hash set like this. We'll first enter W colon. We'll keep a Boolean value. Okay. Now the first thing is entered. Now second thing we can enter in the J. Okay. Again, we can just keep a Boolean value for this. Like it won't necessarily matter. Similarly, we'll do for M. Okay, next we'll do for Z, um, true, then we'll, okay, now comes B, okay, and remember like we didn't come before, so it'll just be the same. Now the next element is M, right? Now since, um, the, I mean, a hash set cannot store duplicate elements. Even if we attempt to store M, it just won't get stored, right? Because M is already stored here, right? So it won't get affected in any way. Now after M comes R. So now this will be the final state of our hash set. And all that's left is to count the elements in this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that's basically it. Now you can just uh, check if it's even or odd and um, output the appropriate strings. Okay, now let's see how we can code this. Okay, so now let's code the solution out. And now almost everything remains the same except for these lines. So I will just change them. Now here we need a map. Okay, so car comma bool, which is what we'll be using. Now a for loop. Now here we'll go up to the end of the string, okay? Now we have to add whatever element we get into the map, right? So we can just do msfi equal to true. So now we have to just make another loop for the map and, and you know, uh, count the number of distinct elements. So for i colon m, mm, just do C++ and that's basically it. Now this should work. I will save it and let's check our first input and the output should be chat with her. Let's check. There you go. It says chat with her. Now the next input should be ignore him. There you go. It's ignore him. So this works. I'm going to just copy this and let's submit this and see if it really works. Now I'll just refresh the page and let's see. And there you go, boy or girl. As you can see, it's accepted. All right. Yeah. So now that's basically it for this video. Um, 
Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll be back with more. Until then, bye.